Hey guys, this is episode number 23 and today we're going to talk about buyers. Questions to ask when considering buying your first home. Welcome to Real TV, our weekly series where we give valuable info to buyers and sellers about all things real estate. I'm Paul Summit for Harcourts. So buyers, some questions to ask when considering buying your first home. And not just for first home buyers, but your first home in general, I guess. So a couple of the questions relate to the paperwork. You wanna ask the agent if there's a LIM and or builder's report available. The reason for this is it gives you a lot of information on the property and if you yourself don't understand it that well, you've got a friend that's a builder or in the industry, they'll be able to talk you through it. Also, if you're working with an agent on the buying side, they'll be able to run through it with you as well. Uh, the agent that's selling the house, no problem discussing it all with them as well. So get the paperwork that's available, work your way through it. It just will alert you to anything that might be going on that you haven't been made aware of at, at the time. The other thing you want to cover off is it's not just the expense of buying your house and the mortgage, there's other things as well like insurance and rates. So make sure that you've got the information there for how much the rates are going to be every year. And another question to be, and this, this is a little bit of strategy that might help you to construct your offer or at least where to start from with putting a price on, on an agreement. So how long has the house been on the market? If it's only been a few days, chances are that just hasn't been seen by the most amount of people yet, so it will. The other side of the coin, if the house has been on for a few months and you've seen it pop up on Trade Me over and over, and you've been through it once or twice yourself, and it's still sitting there, could be something wrong with the property relating to the Lim and Builders report, more likely it's just gone a little bit stale. It depends on the seller's motivation, but if the house has been on the market a long time, could be your opportunity to get it for a pretty sharp price. So make sure you've got your negotiation hat on and you're ready to write an offer. Thanks for watching this week's episode. I'm Paul Summich. Remember, who you work with really matters. So if you're thinking of buying or selling real estate in 2020 or beyond, we'd love to hear from you. Please feel free to share this with anyone else you know that's thinking about buying or selling real estate in Whangarei. Cheers, guys. Yeah.